Because no. that it sounded like something I'm hearing a lot out there at the moment. Isn't that weird? How yeah. you put a slightly different chord progression, similar vibe, but not exactly the same. Be interesting to see whether or not it gets. Um, it can't do. It's not, the same. It's, it's not the same. It's not the same. Anyway, welcome Is back it? to Anderson's TV. Absolutely, that was yeah. uh, last bus home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was the first bus. First that was bus, the first bus, first bus into bus, town. First bus Absolutely, home. first bus into town <laughs> on a big night out. Way uh, right. Uh, that was good though. I it's like that. It's really beautiful. I like and, that. You know, fair play to Pete. He's, you know, he's noodling around. It's like, oh, I think I've got something here. And it's very cool. Very, very cool. Anyway, look, we may well, um, you may well find that it, perhaps it's already launched. Perhaps it's launching any day now. But we've got a new uh, digital download site for Anderton's, uh, where yeah. you can dive over there. And we're making a lot of these jam tracks available to download we are. We are. from there. So links below if you want to go find that out. Yeah. You know how you do that kind of stuff, Lee? You just sort of listen to other, other songs and then you just make your own version of it. Isn't that all music? <laughs> yes, but some are a bit more obvious than others, right? Well, this is true. This is true. So, anyway. Hansen. Oh, man. Quite possibly my second favourite thing to come out of Denmark <laughs> after, obviously, Danish Pete. And after Bacon. Uh, after Bacon, and yeah, sorry. So it's fourth, seventh, <laughs> And Lego. Six, Lego. And, oh, man, um, it's a lot. And Danish design. Arne Jacobsen. And, and beer. Peace sign. Is it Heineken? Is that the Danish beer? Yes, where are you no, from, Dane? It's Pete Holland. Yeah, Sorry, now what's the Danish one? Carlsberg, man. Carlsberg. If Carlsberg that's make guitars, I mean. right? That's completely what I meant. It was. <laughs> I've even you been to the Heineken Brewery you, in, 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 uh, in, in Copenhagen. In, right? in Copenhagen, yeah. in Amsterdam. <laughs> and I still get it wrong. So, Hansen, yes. Uh, it's, it's just two guys, right? Yep. Two guys. Well, Henning Hansen, right? Some, who's, they, he's the one that's out there in the moor digging down uh, moose, moose bones, bones he gets from Norway yeah. <laughs> and then digs them down for like for a long time and then, uh, or in the swamp, and then digs them up and makes the saddles of them. Um, it's incredible. A tiny, tiny, pro I mean, it's, it's proper artisan guitar building, yeah. you know, as you would imagine it is, as opposed to perhaps some of the big brands, you know, where even though they're making custom shop guitars, there's still like, you know, 50 employees and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, they only really make guys. three kinds of guitars. They do a T-type, uh, they do an S-type, you can guess what that is. And then they do something a little bit more um, unique, I guess. But for us, the T-types and the S-types are what you guys seem to like buying. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, it's what we like playing. It's um, incredible guitars, and, these. And I kind of think, yeah, it sits and it goes... You've got to be honest with you, a million percent this gives anything Fender make in this style a run for its money. 100%. Um, they are. They don't come with the, the big brand price tag, so although it's still a relatively expensive guitar, it's, yeah. it's probably 25 to 30 percent less than the equivalent Fender. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. You might argue the Fender will probably have the bigger resale price, and I, I get all that. Yeah, um, yeah. They don't. Although visually, it's a bit of a you know it, you can see where the inspiration is. They have a few things where there's a bit of a departure. So they use mahogany more than they yeah, use mahogany um, on the ash or alder. Um, um, that that is this is this is my double bound telecast. As you can see. Um, if you if I do that, you can see it's a mahogany body, and for some reason, I don't know how they do it, but they're super light. They're always yeah. super. Telecasters are always super light. Um, They've got a, you know, a, a, a relatively traditional sort of neck carve. It's quite a sort of a modern C, I guess. Yeah. Thin um, rosewood boards. 12 inch um, radius. Yeah, so a slightly flatter, flatter radius flatter, like, than than, than a Fender style. would be. But you yeah. know, you, clearly there's a you know more similarities than there are differences. Yeah. But we call, I say we call, I kind of coined the name for this. I call Pete's gold double bound uh, old Mr. Reliable. Yeah. Because it's like when you're having one of those days in the studio and you're trying to demo a pedal or an amplifier or whatever yeah. like that. And you just, I don't know, you just like- And it's hot got, inside yeah, or the heating's been on. Or, or sound or even inspiration. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing. It, it absolutely is the one guitar that we can both reach for. Yeah. And it's just well, like, okay. Tell you it's kind of a similar thing, but yeah, I- Yeah, you but I not, don't know, for me, I'm almost more leaning towards... Yeah, because, yeah, you're, I, you're right. And it, it's, it, there's just something about it. Mm. Um, they wind your own pickups on here. Uh, use some German Silver Freddy things on there. You can spec anything you like, really. So you can talk to Paul and Paul yes. in the guitar gallery. In our guitar and, gallery. Uh, yeah, get any so, colour you like and anything. But anyway. it's tiny, tiny, tiny numbers. Andersons yeah. probably get... 
20 Hansons a year, maybe from, you know, yeah. so again, that's across the whole range. Yeah. And they just couldn't bill any more than that. No. Um, I don't know if anyone in the States is doing these yet. I guess if you go to the um, Hanson website, you'll find out. I know, I think I mentioned it to the, the Chicago Music Exchange guys and said they should check them out. But yeah. hey, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, but certainly over here, um, grab them from Anderton's. Yeah. So the reason we're doing these today is because we have a new uh, thin line. Uh, style or you know with the F hole on yeah um, so very much based on on the sort of the double bound T style uh, T type that they do anyway yeah. but but just now much lighter because of course had a chunk of the wood taken out yeah um, other than that it's the same uh, yeah. but Pete do you want to go through some I, I can definitely do that I mean they um, all so they all uh, like Slight relics, as you can see, you've got the cracking lacquer. It's pretty more than slight, um, isn't it? Well, this is, yeah, it's probably a bit more heavy relic, actually, but these are. Um, and the neck is, I don't know if they relic it, they relic the neck slightly different. They edge it different, because yeah. it's more where you say, this guy's played a lot up here. It's and a then rhythm you get guitar the, where the player thumb is, relicking. and they, yeah, so <laughs> it, it won't, and that makes sense, you know, it's not completely worn down. It doesn't, it has more lacquer on the back than yeah. a heavy relic fender, doesn't it? But it's nitro, which means that when you play it, like I've played this quite a lot, the nitro will come off um, at some point. Um, Wilkinson yes. Trem, uh, sorry, Trem, Wilkinson Bridge. Yeah. Um, I say it's, Wilk it's the top of the range Wilkinson stuff where it's made by Goto. Um, this, I love, the, the, um, the, the big saddles chunky here, saddles, because yeah. the saddles, so sometimes when you play a Telecaster, you'll have these tiny little screws sticking out, depending on how high and mm. how low you want the action. But these, when you put your hand on them, they just got this they got super these cool, kind of Allen key. lovely, yeah. yeah, and you can then, you can, you can set them. So what is it called? Compensator saddles. Um, really cool, and it's even dirty. Look, they even get the dirt in yeah. there. I don't know how they do that, but uh, um, well, look, uh, yeah. you, again, we're, there's a great we bit. He has a. He has a sort of um, a signature oh, that he puts cool. on the guitar. He gets the bot presumably the bottom of a Carlsberg bottle, right? Well, it's either a Carlsberg uh, or two book, but I don't okay. know. Okay, and uh, as it, you know, basically before they leave, he just kind of pushes the the bottle down, and it gives this sort of soft imprint, like there's a little bit of damage to the guitar. So but it's that, his signature one here. kind of thing. One here. Yeah, one here. All in different places. Yeah. So it's just a bit of fun. Uh, yeah. You know, a bit like Homer Simpson. Get, you know, really like, drunk where, and puts his beard down. Mac Gronick's kind of signature <laughs> on his head. It's the same kind of vibe. Oh man. I, they, they are, I'm, I'm just going to shout this out, I mean, they, they are probably consistently, consistently, I was going to say my absolute favourite, but then I'll just in the next video say that something else is my favourite, so I know, but I, it's, it's always difficult, it's isn't it? It's always, that. always a joy when some new Hanson guitars turn up, because yeah. they're just consistently mm. so good, they're so, they're so simplistically good, you know, yeah. it's like, anyway, come on, do the yeah. tones. Yeah, the tones, anyway, yeah, so uh, here's the neck pickup. Oh, hang on. Huge! There's nothing on here. So they're slightly hot, aren't they? Very expressive. You know I don't think hot's the right word, because hot implies distortion and gain. Yes. They're just big. They're fat they're and big, big and yeah. fat. Yeah. You know. Thing on there. It's so nice to play, man. They're just, they're just. I don't know if it's flat radius board or it's these, uh, especially sort of. I don't know, it's German sort of silver steel or something on there, I'm not it's exactly really sure. It's really hard to describe, because it, it but hasn't it, moved. You know, they haven't done anything radically different to what no. Fender do with the Telecaster. Yes, it is a slightly fatter, a flatter fretboard, but you, it's just expressively big. The, the, the shape is slightly different from a Tele. Uh, a you can, you would definitely notice cuts, it yeah. here. Mm. So the cut is slightly different. Yeah, I never thought um, about that. And the head, I like the headstock. I think the headstock is really nice, uh, and uh, I like the logo. Um, so anyway, so here's the middle position.
and the bridge. I tell you what, when I pick this up, like when I start playing it and, and I do something with it, you know, there's lots of, I've got lots of guitars, I'm lucky to have lots of guitars, but when I pick this up, I'll just keep playing it and then all of a sudden it's an hour later and I've noticed, yeah. you know, and I go, ah, because I get this feeling, I don't know about you, but I get this feeling where I, I'm, I had it last, not last night, the night before, and I was like, I, I, I want to play, I need to play that guitar. And I had a thing, and it was the, it's a heritage in here, like a th uh, 530, so like a th uh, 330, it's like a P90 kind of thing. And I just had to play that guitar, and I went around doing stuff, and then I have to sit down for half an hour and play. It's really strange. I, I and I get that with these, and I keep playing it, I can't stop. I can kind of relate to this a bit, but maybe not to the degree that I see it in you. It's like, oh, it's like you've got, <laughs> Pete's got so many guitars, you know, literally, <laughs> I guess like a any well sort of successful <laughs> guitar player, I suppose. Lots of brands. it's up and down, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, but lot, you know, lots and lots of brands over the years have sent mm. Pete guitars to to try yeah. and and to keep. So any guitar that you see Pete going back to regularly, even if it's only once every you know three or four months, or whatever. But if yeah. you see regularly over like three or four years Pete going back to that guitar, you know it's special because it's you know, there's only probably. Maybe five guitars that I think you do yeah, that with. Yeah, but it depends. It depends on what it is, and there's also my, I don't have time to play them all. Yeah, you know, it's 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 impossible because we get to play enough here. But there's some that I really enjoy all the time. To, but every time I do play, I get to play them like these. Has, yeah. there's just something that you go. It's familiar. You know, it's that familiarity. Do you still the one that you still don't have? I think that's an. I mean, you've you've got. Two strats still, right? The blue one yeah. and the white one. Yeah. Which I think you keep because a because you like them, but I think there's a sentimental take yeah, yeah, on it. Yeah. I don't think that you've got a strat. There's not yet, a strat that yet you, that you have. You've got where I go. You've, <gasps> you've got the purple telly. Yeah. You've got the Hanson double bound. Yeah. You've got the Murphy Labs Les Paul. Yeah. You've well, got the, that. The, the, the silver sky to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. But well, it's, you it's, haven't it's, had that long it's enough, not, I don't think. You're talking about the purple one. Yeah. yeah but it's not a. It's not really a. There's something about that. It's different from a. Strat, strat. Yeah. We think, you know, where I think when we get, we're getting some of these in that we've done in a uh, like a vintage white with a taut guard on it. Uh, those I'm really interested in seeing how they're going to be. But if, as a, in a Fender strat, it's like maybe it's just a tone of. I don't know what it is. It's just something. Actually, I know there was a squire I played that purple squire, which is like 300. I put some new strings on it yesterday because we're going to use it in a video, and I played it all night long last night when I couldn't just put it down. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, so let's I put some gain uh, on yeah, there. We're digressing. Uh, a bit of gain from the Dane. <laughs> oh, so Slightly. That's without, and here's with. I mean, that's the turn, that's the... Uh... Bonkers. I just like, um, I love these guitars. Could that's you, not... I, I forget, I don't think we've ever had a non-relic Hanson. No. Is that because they you, don't make them? Or well, they can, they can make anything one. you want. I just okay. don't think we have ordered any of them because it's... It's, there's something about the beaten up telly there's that looks so about, cool, isn't there? And but. Yeah, and it's the same old thing. I know some, most, a lot of people don't like the Relic thing, but you can get it if you don't want. Yeah, maybe we should, maybe we should. Um, can, maybe we can should. Can we hear, so we got Old Faithful out, because um, <laughs> I kind of wanted to hear 
you, you know, there's a very obvious weight difference between a, a thin line and a and a solid. Yes, body. but these are still so super light. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the but thing. I wondered if there's much of a tonal difference. It doesn't sound uh, as acoustic, I guess, does it? You know, when you just strum it like that. No, but that's because it's sense, not as acoustic. It's not, yeah. You know, so. <laughs> It's more, it's got that more hollow sort of sound. But they're very similar. But again. It's much it? brighter that mm. one, isn't it? It's quite interesting, actually. But that must just be wonder, the, the wood. You know. I wonder whether it's just there's maybe less mid range in the hollow one, which gives it the impression of it being brighter, whereas that's got a little bit more sort of power yeah. in, the, in the mid range. Yeah. Because that's a, you know, it's not a. It's not like, oh, that sounds better. They both no, sound they just, great, yeah. you know? Well, look. There's nothing to say, they're just great guitars. They are, they're Did so I have it all good. the way up? So, on, <laughs> I did, yeah. yeah. So look, uh, if you're <laughs> familiar with Andertons and you've perhaps visited the store or you've um, chatted to us online, we have a section of the store called the Guitar Gallery. We've got a couple of lovely guys that work in there, both called Paul, so it's easy. nice and easy for you to remember. Yep. And they're basically there to help you if you've got any questions about any of the sort of the higher end guitars that we do. Perhaps you want to spec up your own custom shop guitar or your own Hanson and you want a different colour or anything really that, that yep. uh, Hanson can do, speak to them. Right now on the F holds, we've just got three. The blue one is at serial number 468. That just goes to show how little they make, right? Yeah. And the pink one is serial number 467. <laughs> and the gold <laughs> one is 469. So they obviously so made these seven, eight, consecutively. Nine, yeah. And if you can't afford a and pink that guitar, one? why not get yourself a pink t-shirt? Yeah. Uh, that's a lot less money. There you go, um, 408. And I've had this for a couple of years. So that just goes to show they how, many, many guitars, how many they make. They? Yeah. No, but they I, also repair stuff, so it's also repair stuff at the same time, you know. I, if it, one of the tragedies, the many tragedies of COVID has been that just before it started, Pete and I were talking about going over to uh, Denmark yes, to see the, guys, yeah. uh, the Baum guys, the yes. Hanson guys. Yeah. We were going to catch up with uh, Tracy Guns. It was like all different things mm -hmm. and uh, probably go to the uh, obviously the uh, Heineken uh, brewery <laughs> <laughs> um, no and uh, but we shall have to do that another day I just yeah. the, the scratch plate is super cool on there isn't they it? make them all themselves all I like that stuff it. so I like it it's really cool yeah if you want to get something that's slightly different or you've got to tell you already but you want then it's just we were just saying just that different. off camera it's like you know we were going would you buy one of these over a and, I, and there's a little bit of me going there's still a there's still an itch at the back of my mind saying I have to tick that fender box maybe yeah. first yeah but the truth is I think once you've ticked the fender box and then you buy the Hanson as well I think there's a little tiny bit of me going I might play the Hanson more I don't know but I don't know look there it's is all, a thing, isn't uh, there, with these guitars where you pick so them up good. and they're good play. They're so, anyway, so good. Anyway, we're rambling. But we are. So let's play out, man. Okay. I'm going to uh, see if I can do something that sounds like I, uh, like some other arti 80s artist. Shall I do that, maybe? Yeah, I kind of feel like I want to play the pink one, but because I've got no, a pink shirt, no, no, I know it'll it's fit like, you. It'll it, fit. Here, go do people it. People won't see And I'll play the gold one. Okay, you play the gold one. I'll play the pink one. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, yes, please do that. And links are below. And we have done some other Hanson videos in the past. Me and Ariel have done one, and I think me and Rabia did one. And if you want to watch them, they will be up there in the pop-up banner. Now, love you loads. Yes. Bye.